Chapter on the reference to angels. Anna said, Abdullah bin Salam said to the Prophet, peace be upon him, Amongst the angels, Jibril, Gabriel is the enemy of the Jews. Ibn Abbas said, The verse, Verily, we, angels, we stand in rows for the prayers, as you Muslims stand in rows for your prayers. Quran, chapter 37, verse 165, refers to the angels. Narrated Malik bin Sarsara, may Allah be pleased with him, the Prophet peace be upon him said, While I was beside the house, Garba, in a state midway between sleep and wakefulness, an angel recognized me as the man lying between two men. A golden tray full of wisdom and belief was brought to me, and my body was cut open from the throat to the lower part of the abdomen, and then my abdomen was washed with zamzam water, and my heart was filled with wisdom and belief. al baraq a white animal, smaller than a mule and bigger than a donkey, was brought to me, and I set out with Jibril, Gabriel. When I reached the nearest heaven, Jibril said to the gatekeeper of the heaven, Open the gate. The gatekeeper asked, Who is it? He said, Jibril. The gatekeeper said, Who is accompanying you? Jibril said, Muhammad. The gatekeeper said, Has he been called? Jibril said, Yes. Then it was said, He is welcome. What a wonderful visit his is. Then I met Adam and greeted him, and he said, You are welcome, O son and a prophet. Then we ascended to the second heaven. It was asked, Who is it? Jibril said, Jibril. It was said, Who is with you? He said, Muhammad, peace be upon him. It was asked, Has he been sent for? He said, Yes. It was said, He is welcome. What a wonderful visit his is. Then I met Isa, Jesus, and Yahya, John, who said, You are welcome, O brother and a prophet. Then we ascended to the third heaven. It was asked, Who is it? Jibril said, Jibril. It was asked, Who is with you? Jibril said, Muhammad. It was asked, Has he been sent for? Jibril said, Yes. It was said, He is welcome. What a wonderful visit his is. The Prophet, peace be upon him, added, There I met Yusuf, Joseph, and greeted him. And he replied, You are welcome, O brother and a prophet. Then we ascended to the fourth heaven, and again the same questions and answers were exchanged as in the previous heavens. There I met Idris and greeted him. He said, You are welcome, O brother and a prophet. Then we ascended to the fifth heaven, and again the same questions and answers were exchanged as in previous heavens. There I met and greeted Harun, Aaron, who said, You are welcome, O brother and a prophet. Then we ascended to the sixth heaven, and again the same questions and answers were exchanged as in previous heavens. There I met and greeted Musa, Moses, who said, You are welcome, O brother and a prophet. When I proceeded on, he started weeping, and on being asked why he was weeping, he said, O Lord, followers of this youth who was sent after me will enter paradise in greater number than my followers. Then we ascended to the seventh heaven, and again the same questions and answers were exchanged as in the previous heavens. There I met and greeted Ibrahim, Abraham, who said, You are welcome, O son and a prophet. Then I was shown Al-Baytul Ma'mur, that is, Allah's house. I asked Jibreel about it, and he said, This is Al-Baytul Ma'mur, where 70,000 angels perform salah, prayer, daily. And when they leave, they never return to it, but always a fresh batch comes into it daily. Then I was shown Sidratul Muntaha, that is, the low tree of the utmost boundary. And I saw its nabiq fruits, which resemble the clay jugs of Hajjal that is, a town in Arabia, and its leaves were like the ears of elephants, and four rivers originated at its root. Two of them were apparent, and two were hidden. I asked Jibril about those rivers, and he said, The two hidden rivers are in Paradise, and the apparent ones are in Nile and the Euphrates. Then fifty Sada, 
prayer were enjoined on me. I descended till I met Musa, who asked me, What have you done? I said, Fifty sola, prayers have been enjoined on me. He said, I know the people better than you because I had the hardest experience to bring Bani Israel to obedience. Your followers cannot put up with such obligation, so go back to your Lord and request him to reduce the number of salah. I returned and requested Allah for a reduction, and he made it forty. I returned and met Musa and had a similar discussion, and then returned again to Allah for reduction, and he made it thirty, then twenty, then ten. And then I came to Musa, who repeated the same advice. Ultimately, Allah reduced it to five. When I came to Musa again, he said, What have you done? I said, Allah has made it five only. He repeated the same advice, but I said, that I surrender to Allah's final order. Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, was addressed by Allah. I have decreed my obligation and have reduced the burden on my slaves and I shall reward a single good deed as if it were ten good deeds. Narrated Abdullah bin Mas'ud, may Allah be pleased with him, Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, the true and truly inspired, said, The matter of the creation of a human being is put together in the womb of the mother in forty days, and then he becomes a clot of thick blood for a similar period, and then a piece of flesh for a similar period. Then Allah sends an angel, who is ordered to write four things. He is ordered to write down his, that is, the new creature's deeds, his livelihood, his date of death, and whether he will be blessed or wretched in the hereafter. Then the soul is breathed into him. So a man amongst you may do good deeds till there is only a cubit between him and paradise, and then what has been written for him decides his behavior, and he starts doing evil deeds, characteristic of the people of the hellfire. And similarly, a man amongst you may do evil deeds till there is only a cubit between him and the hellfire. And then, what has been written for him decides his behavior, and he starts doing deeds characteristic of the people of paradise. See Hadith number 3332. Narrated Abu Huraira, may Allah be pleased with him. The Prophet peace be upon him said, if Allah loves a person, he calls Jibril, Gabriel, saying, Allah loves so and so, O Jibril, love him. Jibril would love him and make an announcement amongst the inhabitants of the heaven. Allah loves so and so, therefore you should love him also. And so all the inhabitants of the heaven would love him. And then he is granted the pleasures of the people on the earth. See Volume 9. Hadith number 7485 Narrated Aisha, may Allah be pleased with her, the wife of the Prophet, peace be upon him. I heard Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, saying, The angels descend in the clouds and mention this or that matter decreed in the heaven. The devils listen stealthily to such true statement and then inspire it or pour it in the ears of the foretellers, and the latter would add to it one hundred lies of their own. See Hadith number 5762. Narrated Abu Huraira, may Allah be pleased with him. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, On every Friday, the angels take their stand at every gate of the mosques to write the names of the people chronologically, that is, according to the time of their arrival for the Friday prayer. And when the Imam sits on the pulpit, they fold up their scrolls and get ready to listen to the Al-Dhikr, Qutbah, religious talk. Narrated Sa'id bin al-Musayyib. Umar came to the mosque while Hassan was reciting a poem. Umar disapproved of that. On that, Hassan said, I used to recite poetry in this very mosque in the presence of one, that is, the Prophet, peace be upon him, who was better than you. Then he turned towards Abu Huraira and said to him, I ask you by Allah, did you hear Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, saying to me, Retort on my behalf. O Allah, support him, that is, Hassan with the Ruhul Qudus, that is, Jibril, Gabriel. Abu Huraira said, Yes. Narrated Al Bara, may Allah be pleased with him, the Prophet, peace be upon him, said to Hassan, Lampoon them, that is, Al Mushrikun, and Jibril, Gabriel is with you. Narrated Humayd bin Hilal, Anas bin Malik, may Allah be pleased with him, said, 
as if I saw a cloud of dust swirling up in the lane of Bani Ghanm. Musa added, that was caused by the mounted escort of Gabriel. Narrated Aisha, may Allah be pleased with her. Al-Harith bin Hisham asked the Prophet, peace be upon him, How is the divine revelation revealed to you? He replied, In all these following ways. The angel sometimes comes to me with a voice, which resembles the sound of a ringing bell. And when this state passes away from me, I grasp what the angel has said, and this type of divine revelation is the hardest on me. And sometimes the angel comes to me in the shape of a man and talks to me, and I understand and grasp what he says. See Hadith number 2. Narrated Abu Huraira, may Allah be pleased with him. I heard the Prophet peace be upon him saying, Whoever spends two things in Allah's cause will be called by the gatekeepers of paradise, who will say, O oh, so and so, come on. Abu Bakr said, Such a person will never perish or be miserable. The Prophet peace be upon him said, I hope you will be among such persons. Narrated Abu Salama, Aisha, may Allah be pleased with her, said that the Prophet peace be upon him said to her, O oh, Aisha, this is Jibreel, Gabriel, and he sends his salutations, greetings to you. Aisha said, Salutations, greetings to him, and Allah's mercy and blessing be on him. And addressing the Prophet peace be upon him, she said, You see what I don't see. Narrated Ibn Abbas, may Allah be pleased with them. Allah's Messenger peace be upon him asked Jibreel, Gabriel, Why don't you visit us more often than you do? Then the following holy verse was revealed in this respect. And we, angels, descend not except by the command of your Lord, O Muhammad peace be upon him. To him belongs what is before us and what is behind us. Quran, chapter 19, verse 64. Narrated Ibn Abbas, may Allah be pleased with them, Allah's Messenger peace be upon him said, Jibreel, Gabriel read the Quran to me in one way, that is, dialect and I continued asking him to read it in different ways, till he read it in seven different ways. Footnote The Prophet, peace be upon him, wished that the Qur'an would be easily read and understood by the various Arab tribes of his time. Narrated Ibn Abbas, may Allah be pleased with them. Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, was the most generous of all the people, and he used to be more generous in the month of Ramadan when Jibreel, Gabriel, used to meet him. Jibreel used to meet him every night in Ramadan to study the Noble Qur'an carefully together. Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, used to become more generous than the fair wind sent by Allah with glad tidings, rain, when he met Jibreel. See Hadith number 6. Narrated Ibn Shihab, once Umar bin Abdul Aziz delayed the Asr prayer a little. Urwa said to him, Jibreel, Gabriel descended and led the Salah prayer in front of the Prophet, peace be upon him. On that, Umar said, O Urwa, be sure of what you say. Urwa said, I heard Bashir bin Abi Mas'ud narrating from Ibn Mas'ud, who heard Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, saying, Jibreel descended and led me in Salah, prayer, and I offered Salah with him. Then again, I offered Salah, prayer with him, and then offered Salah, prayer with him again, and then offered Salah, prayer, with him again, and then offered salah, prayer, with him again, counting with his fingers five salah, prayer. Narrated Abu Dhar, may Allah be pleased with him, the Prophet peace be upon him said, Jibreel, Gabriel said to me, whoever amongst your followers die without having worshipped others besides Allah will enter paradise or will not enter the hellfire. The Prophet peace be upon him asked, even if he has committed illegal sexual intercourse or theft, he replied, even then. Narrated Abu Huraira, may Allah be pleased with him. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, Angels come to you in succession by night and day, and all of them get together at the same time of the Fajr and Asr prayers. Then those who have stayed with you overnight assent unto Allah, who asks them, and he knows the answer better than they. How have you left my slaves? They reply, we left them while they were offering salah, prayer, and we came to them while they were offering salah, prayer. 